Hello and welcome to One Minute Maya. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a bump map from your diffuse texture very quickly and effectively. Okay so here's a render of my Vespa. Uh, currently it's not got any bump map um, so it's looking very flat. All it's got at the moment is the, the colour map and specular. So you can see around here it's just it's not looking very good. Okay, so the first step you need to do is to open up your texture diffuse map within Photoshop. Here's mine. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to desaturate the image to get rid of all the colour. So you can do this by going to Image, Adjustments, and going down to Desaturate, or you can use this shortcut here, Control Shift U. Okay, next step, just zoom into a high detail area, like so. It's got a lot of chipped paint here, it's good. Okay, so go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. Okay. So we just need to adjust this radius to get some subtle detail. I think two works pretty well. Okay. So from looking at looking at it in Photoshop, it doesn't look like much. It's very subtle. You might not even be able to see it on YouTube, but it's very subtle. But it'll work. Okay. So we need to save this map out. So file save as, and I'm going to save this as a target, and save this as a. Bump. Okay. Save it to 32 bit. So once we've saved this out, we need to go back into Maya. So I'm just going to minimize this render. I'm going to actually save a picture for comparison later. Minimize it. Um, I'm using MIA Material X. So if you're using the same, go down to Bump and then go to the overall bump. File. Make sure you use it as a bump. Input the texture. So we've got it here. Open. I'm going to set my fill type to off so that we get a nice sharp texture. And then we're ready to render again. So I'm going to open up my render window. And then render. Now that the render's done, um, as you can see it's really over the top, so we're going to have to change the intensity of the bump so it's not as not as crazy. So to do this, go back into your shader, bump, and click on this arrow, and then press this arrow. So here's the value that we need to change the bump depth. So I'm going to set it to a value of 0.1, and see what that gives us. Save an image for comparison. Right, the render's finished, and as you can see, it's looking a lot better. It's not as harsh, and you're getting some nice little detail. And as you can see by the image comparison, it looks a lot better. You've got a better, you have a better sense of realism here with the added surface detail. It just really makes the texture pop. And that's how you make a bump map from a diffuse map within Photoshop. Thank you for watching.